Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stone Legion. Yes, it's been a while since we've done a video. So uh, today we're just here to talk about kind of the future of Stone Legion, G2 New Horizon server that we're planning this uh, this year. It should be up sometime, I would say. I'm going to I'm going to say probably mid-February is kind of like where we're aiming for. And uh, what's happening and why I've been so busy and all that fun stuff. So first of all, I've been really busy in real life. Um uh, a company uh, set up uh, internet into our town, brought fiber, and I'm a consultant for the company, uh, so I do a lot of consulting. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm my own guy, you know, like my own person, uh, but uh, I do a lot of consulting for them, and so I've been very busy. And uh, yeah, they brought in fiber into the town, and uh, yeah, now we have fiber everywhere, and so, you know, I help out uh, with where I can there. Um, we we're wireless to the homes, unfortunately. So, you know, it's, it's between 10 to maybe 30 millisecond, uh, added time there, unfortunately, but that's just how it is. Um, but, uh, the internet here is way, way better now in our little town of Manitouage, uh, compared to what it was before, which was pretty damn horrific, honestly. So that's really, really, really freaking awesome news. I love how dark it's getting there. What was with like the bright little sun there? Oh, it was the guy over there, a fire. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so th that that took a lot of time getting it up and running and, you know, things like that. When, when you first get things going, it's just a lot of time is taken and things are settling down. So anyways, what's happening is we're building a new server for, you know, our servers that we, we've run all the, you know, I've been running servers since what? I was like 13, 14. Um, if anyone knew me back that far away, I used to run maybe some naughty servers. I also ran some legal servers like Freelancer and things like that, but uh, maybe a lot of, well, I think the emulated ones were legal, uh, but still they were naughty, you know? I mean, the companies don't like you running like, you know, your Lineage 2 servers back then. But uh, anyways, our new server is going to be, this is the, I'm pretty set on these specs. You can tell me if, you know, I should look into something else. It's all about money, of course. If somebody was rich out there and wanted to all of a sudden give me a bunch of money to put towards this, that's one thing. But no one's going to do that, right? So anyways, what I'm looking at is getting a Ryzen 9 uh, 3900X. Uh, that's the uh, 3.8 gigahertz uh, system. Doesn't that clock boost to like 4.6 or something? 12-core uh, processor. Uh, and then I'll get, of course, uh, a motherboard there, which is, I'm looking at the Asus Prime X470 Pro, and uh, then I was looking at RAM. Really, RAM is mostly what I can find that's the cheapest, that has the most hertz, from my understanding. You want slow clock time, uh, was that CL or whatever? So say like 16 and 3200, uh, you know, speed on the, the the memory. You don't want like 19 and like 3200 or something. You want like 3200 or 3400 and around like the 15, 16 mark. Uh, but anyway, some faster RAM. It's going to be 64 gigs in total. So it'll be four 16 gig sticks. And then I'm looking at getting myself, uh, or us, I should say, for our server, uh, an XPG 2 terabyte, uh, basically um, a 2 terabyte uh, NVMe um, uh, stick there. So basically that does like 300, uh, th sorry, 3000 read and or write, and I think 3500 uh, read or something like that. So basically a really very, very fast freaking SSD, like one of those modern ones. Uh, and that'll be bloody amazing, like for backups, for just basically unloading and loading worlds. It doesn't matter. Basically, our uh, read and write will not be affected anymore. Uh, the idea of, oh, you need a RAM disk and stuff stuff like that, which one time we, we used to run RAM disks. So you can believe that. One time in Minecraft, it was so laggy that we used to run RAM disks. But even these days with a standard SSD, you're pretty good. But uh, this will just put us over the edge, right, of really good. Uh, just the 650-watt power supply, uh, and 80 plus. Uh, just basically, uh, that's more than enough we need. And uh, then we're going to put it in an actual server rack mount this time. It's going to be a proper server. That way I can rack them in the future. Uh, I didn't realize how cheap racks were themselves. And uh, you can get these ones Roswell. Uh, Rosewell? Ro Rosewell? Roswell. Um, basically, you can get a 4U for you for this kind of system with that kind of size CPU and stuff. You, you definitely want to get a 4 unit. But uh, you can get them really cheap, so eventually I want to actually get a proper rack mount and stuff like that. 
and uh, it has an eight internal bays. Well, I don't know if I'll use all eight, but it's more about the size of the components and everything else and keeping it, you know, like nice and open for cooling and stuff as well. But that's going to be our new server, and that's going to be the, the grand opening usage of that server will be for GT New Horizon. It'll be used for other things over time as well, and even at the same time, because it has that capability. But that's basically the grand opening of this new server. Unfortunately, due to financial reasons, things like that, I can't start purchasing the parts till next month. Literally February 1st and on, I can start working on this, and I will, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that, you know, that, that new server. So basically that's probably going to be the fastest GT new horizon server that's ever existed. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we're doing a lot of changes with GT New Horizon like we normally do on our servers. Nothing too huge. Like, you know, like, for example, if you check our inventory here, I'm banning the world anchors here. Now, I'm not banning all the anchors. I'm actually supporting anchors this time. Uh, personal and uh, passive anchors, I'm going to allow. But when it comes to your standard world anchor, the ones that stay loaded, they load when you can log on the servers, all that nasty stuff, they're going... Uh, the open computer one, the Steve Carr add-on ones, they're going to, uh, like I said, you can use the regular anchors and things like that if you want to do chunk loading. Uh, what else are we doing? Uh, we're actually nerfing gliders. We are actually denying gliders in the overworld, in Twilight Forest, and in the nether at this time. We might consider reopening it in the nether because we are changing the nether and the way you move around, like not move around in the nether, I should say, but rather uh, the ways you do uh, explore the nether and the, you know, divided by eight for portals, um, which I guess gets to our other thing. Our world is going to be RTG, not RWG. It's going to have oceans disabled or mostly gone. And so the land's going to look a lot different than your standard uh, GT server, which I think you'll love because it's going to look really beautiful. I think the biggest change on it is we're going to have one of the biggest maps out there. We are going to do a 32,000 by 32,000 block world. So the idea of this world is it's going to be massive. It's going to be huge. It's going to be delicious. And we're going to pre-generate that. So <laughs> I'm actually working and testing on setting up a full setup of like scripts basically to you know, shut down and start up, shut down and start up the server or when it crashes to start it up again to continue uh, generating chunks. That way I can leave it on for a few days and kind of ignore it and let it, you know, do the world generation. But of course, I'm doing a lot of testing too because I'm going to make sure is the world generation working? How is it working? Things like that. You know, like there's a lot of things one has to do. It's not just as simple as that. Uh, one thing I've worked with Dream. Dream's an awesome guy. You just have to talk to him. And, you know, Dream Dream is a good buddy, honestly. Dream is uh, sometimes hard to get, you know, a nice one on one conversation. But uh, I talked to Dream and I said, we need a better hardcore darkness. I hate hardcore darkness that they have in the client right now basically it's funny because random random things i believe is the mod where they have hardcore darkness in it and then there's hardcore darkness and as far as i know it's by the same freaking author except the difference between hardcore darkness and then the one in random things is in random things you have to do a gamma lock you don't have to but if you don't the sky will brighten up so basically your gamma controls the sky, but look at my, my brightness is full right now, but look at this. Notice that the sky didn't change. It was just the lighting around you. And this lighting around you is where things got really crappy. Basically what would happen here is that, um, well, when you light up your base, it just looked ugly. And then people were removing it because it wasn't because hardcore darkness was scary or it was hard or, uh, you know, it, like they just didn't want it because they can't see outside. It was because they couldn't enjoy their own base. It was giving people headaches. Even myself, I was getting headaches because of the way the torches and everything were lighting up your buildings. Well, the idea now is we can go to full brightness here and you can actually light up your base properly but still get the awesome effect of the hardcore darkness as you can see and so that was the really nice thing that's coming in and even if for some reason it didn't get added we're going to add it to our own client pack so i mean if somebody doesn't want hardcore darkness at all they don't have to we're not going to force that whatever well we might make fun of you a bit you know in in jest that's what we do right and we're, we're all nerds right that's somebody has to flex somewhere <laughs> but uh the idea is we're gonna one way or another hardcore darkness the real one is getting added so we can enjoy the the proper mood and environment but also enjoy the full gamma that you should be 
Uh, what else is happening? Oh, yes. So what happens on our server is, so our old server, if you guys didn't know, and we're going to definitely have better backup system. Uh, our old server, uh, I was moving and I couldn't really do much on it. Electro was kind of in charge in a sense, which I mean, Electro is busy too. And um, none of this is his fault in any way. Um, but we ended up migrating from feed to beast utilities to another protection system that was server side at the time. And feed to beast utilities was using our backup backups like doing our backups and because you know the rush of me moving and things like that uh so at one point it just it kind of went woof right over my head when we removed feed the beast utilities at that point our backup system wasn't happening anymore somebody used a hack client and they basically hacked and destroyed our server of course, that can happen anytime. It's not really a hard thing. I mean, if you've watched, you know, other videos out there, people still hack even the, the best of servers now, right? Um, but the thing that fixes that is backups. Backups literally are your ultimate savior when it comes to stupid stuff like that. So not a problem there. In fact, that that's fine to us. Uh, the problem for us is more the fact that we have to uh, make sure that uh, we do uh, keep backup. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to do the Aroma Core one. We're going to do the uh, you know the, the the backups that only back up like what changed. So the the file print is small. I also have a 10 terabyte drive that I'm going to be using for backup backups. So the idea is we're going to take backups once in a while, and then we're going to take like really heavy backups as well, and they'll be put on the 10 terabyte drive so basically we should have no issues when it comes to backups so i'm going to make sure of that anyway so the theme because of the old world got nuked the theme of the new uh server is basically you spawn at spawn which will be zero zero it doesn't matter and it'll be a wasteland and because our other server kind of got nuked uh, the wasteland will be something like you're in a bunker or some silly thing like that and I think Electro wanted to use maybe make a puddle jumper or something like that but the idea is you escape so maybe we'll have some glass or windows or whatever and you look outside either it's underground and you make it look like it's some like wasted hellhole or you're above ground it doesn't matter but what we're gonna do is make it like a hellhole like wasted land I think like making like the nether looking area but under ground kind of thing would look really cool so anyways the idea is we'll make this really cool spawn and then what you do is you go to a random teleporter and literally this random teleporter will take you anywhere in the world which you don't have a choice so if you're playing with friends and things like that um, you're going to be kind of screwed. I'm going to let you know, like, you can play with friends all you want. There's no teleportation on our map in that sense. You guys know we play legit. We're going to do trains and things over time. Uh, but the idea is your friend could be literally 17, even 30,000 blocks away from you. In fact, the highest they can possibly be will probably be, uh, pro well, I guess it could be easily 50,000. So we won't have the person. We'll probably spawn the players probably say between say maybe six and eight thousand to say you know 26 to 20 yeah I don't want them clo too close to spawn nor too close to the, uh, the the chunk borders right but either way the idea is we'll have them f spawning out in a really large band and uh, so there probably won't be any control there and that that's that's something you have to get used to and I know people will whine but that's how we enjoy it we enjoy that kind of legitimate no teleportation no TP commands no TP2 or the TPR or something like that. no uh, isn't TPR kind of what we're doing teleport to random or I, I forget what it is it's like TPA maybe or something but um, anyways no you'll have to walk to your friend or you know, honestly, that's that's really your only option. Um, there there isn't many options outside of that. So, uh, it is something that we're doing, and uh, we just we really want to make it kind of a more hardcore in that style. So now, adding more to that to our server, making it more unique, we're getting rid of. We're doing like our GT New Horizon number one server. Um, we didn't do it in GT New Horizon 2 really, but we're doing it back to number one, but in a better way. So what we're thinking of doing is instead of having one location that teleports you to Twilight, one location that t teleports you here and there, what we're going to do is we're going to have, say, a dozen or so different bases or bunkers around the world. And what will happen is they'll, they'll house all three portals. So one will have Twilight, one will have um, 
the uh, sorry like one just one every all of them will have it but like uh one building will have twilight nether and the end portals in them but when you get to them there will be a door like an access and it will literally be time locked and the idea is maybe one or maybe more of these will open up per month or not per month per week for for example so uh one of the 12 might be lit up and what the idea, what the point of this is, and the encouragement of it is, is to make people have to actually travel, make uh, a system, an infrastructure to get to these places. Uh, sure, they can walk back and forth, but it'll take time, especially since you can't use a glider just to we just you know easily get there. So what'll happen is week one, for example, you know down in the south somewhere. One will open it up and we'll probably give, you know, well, I don't know. Do we do we make them explore and find them or do they we give them clues? I think it would be more like we let people explore and find them, but then we give them some sort of like elementary drawn map on a wall or something with at the base is showing the other locations. Like they wouldn't tell you the coordinates. They would be so inaccurate, but they would give you sort of a semi location of where they would probably be around the around the world and then that way players can go and you know draw it down or something and then they can find the other ones. But anyways, so the idea is they'll have a different timer and they're open once like for a full week and then another one you know, switches on for a full week. And so the hope is over time, and it will happen right away. It takes time, you know, to build infrastructure and stuff. But the idea is, you know, months later, people will build infrastructure. They'll, they'll start up train systems and they'll have trains going right to these locations. And it'll be really awesome. And then eventually people will figure out the times and the, you know, when they're open, you know, if any other overlap, things like that. But people will end up, you know, discovering this and then being able to share it with other people and just having a really cool infrastructure to these places to teleport to the nether the end things like that so it's it's a, a really awesome sense of discovery uh thankfully electro will probably build these so i'm not paying attention to coordinates and i will not you know ever write them down or whatever or if we write them down i won't actually use them right uh and then you know i'll be playing the game blinded and you know if i come across them awesome if i don't i don't i mean think about it 12 12 let's just say 12 of these facilities on a map that is 3200 by 3200 uh, or sorry, thirty-two thousand by thirty-two thousand. I mean, that's that's like a you know needle in a haystack. You'd be pretty lucky to find that. Um, you know, like think about you know usually there could be you know there's probably hundreds and hundreds of villages usually in a, a size of that you know nature. So um, yeah, I think it would be pretty difficult. But uh, that's the idea. It's it's supposed to be one of those kind of things that you come across and it's like amazing. Now there are ways to get to the nether still. There's like in insane way you can breed into bees that you can get into or sorry the end that you can breed into bees and get to the end so if you really 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 hate this at least there is a shortcut for at least the end portion of things um, but that's pretty bloody insane to do that one but I think people will enjoy this method and uh, it, it'll grow. And that's sort of the theme of our server, right? It's kind of like the sense of discovery. It's transportation, rail system. That's why we nerfed the glider. That's why we've disabled the usage of it in the overworld. And I know some people are not going to like that. But then there is like five other servers to play. That's our theme. That's where we're going. But anyways, we are aiming and making a very, very long time G GTNH server. We, we hope to run this for many years. Uh, we, we've proven to be a very stable server in the past. Mostly our issues, with, of course, was because of the technical issue we had with our world getting destroyed, no backups, and me being a million miles away at the time with the poorest internet possible. But uh, yeah, those those circumstances, of course, have changed. And even if I move again, it'll be going to the south where there is better internet. So uh, it will only get better for that sense of things. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be basically our new uh, server and it'll be pretty awesome. Those are disabled by the way. I'm playing the client right now so we don't send the modifications to the client, only the server, but I'm only playing in single player, uh, just testing some other stuff out. So uh, don't worry, I already got rid of those stupid ugly clouds in the sky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I, I'm really excited for this new server. And I hope you guys are interested in it. I hope we don't get too many, you know, really good vets in Greg Tech. I know there's some people out there who are really good with uh, G2 and Horizon. And honestly, like, it's nothing against you guys. But, you know, like, you guys who are hardcore 
tend to ruin the server for everyone else because you're more powerful. You know what you're doing. You end up eating up all the resources for yourself. You end up expanding too big, things like that. And I'm just hoping that, you know, the, those who are experts don't play here. This is for more of us amateurs who've never gotten past like MV or HV kind of thing. It's it's more for us than the ones that are, you know, veterans. Those veteran ones, you got your competition on like the official servers, things like that, right? Uh, this is more aiming for those who are not, you know, good at the game or who like to take their time, who, who are into building an awesome infrastructure, like, you know, for transportation, things like that, who are not into making, you know, quantum ways or some silly thing like that, but an actual train system. So we're throwing teleporters all over the world. That's, that's another fear, you know, Oh, I'll, I'll just get teleporters up and running right away and, you know, get them going. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's our plans. That's our thoughts. You know, there's, there's more we're doing. Uh, if you check the pinned comment, uh, it'll be uh, our GitHub there. So if there's issues that you want to make or have suggestions or comments, that's a good place to actually post them on our GitHub. Uh, that way we can see them, review them, and talk about them. But uh, either way, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more videos in the future, especially in February there, mid-February, once our server is up and running. It might take a little longer. I'm hoping not, but uh, it really depends. And like Once I said you know, February first hits, I'm going to start buying those parts. I'm going to try to buy them at a decent price. If the sale is coming next week, I'm going to wait. You know, 30 bucks or whatever you save is 30 bucks. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like all that fun stuff, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.